Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the eTrailer J-Style Kayak Carrier on our 2020 Chevy Traverse. Now, when you're starting to get into kayak goods, you know, a lot of times with those higher end styles, start getting a little bit pricey, especially if we're just trying to take our kayak on the road with a stay, maybe just for a few weekends throughout the year, trying to get the family started going on that. This can be a great way to start getting into that entry point. However, we're not losing a lot of those features that you might see on some of those higher end J-Style carriers. We're still getting a lot of attachment points and the kit actually does come included with some very nice straps that you don't actually see. A lot of times you have to pick those up extra and that can really start adding to that price point. However, today we are getting a lot of great features on it. A couple things to mention right away. We do have a cover on our little strap here. Why I like this, a lot of times, you know, you start seeing those, a lot of expo exposure on there. You're going to start getting corrosion on those buckles as they start going. Also, it'll start rubbing against our kayak. So anything we can do to actually prevent some damage to our kayak is doing a great job for us. Another thing that's great about it, it is foldable. So when we actually do get the kayak off of here, we can go ahead and just leave them on there without too much trouble. They're going to be nice, condensed, and low profile pull through the drive throughs or anything like that. We can also leave them on there if maybe we wanna get it on on Friday night, have it up on our rack. So we just had to throw our kayak up in the morning. Very easy to actually collapse down and nice and secured. So the dismount's gonna be pretty easy. We actually wanna go ahead and utilize these extra hooks on the end. What's gonna be great for? Trying to get a hand up. See, we wanna rotate this just a little bit. You can actually push it back a little bit too. You can see getting that further in there and then using this just to take a little bit of the weight off. And then we can just simply walk it up to ourselves and we're ready to go. Taking a look at the carrier itself, you see we do have a little bit of foam padding on the side, pretty soft, gonna do a good job of kind of preventing any damage to our kayak frame as it goes down. As you can see, when we're gonna get this nice and cinched in, we're not gonna be rubbing on anything hard, definitely gonna keep us from getting any kind of damage. At the bottom of the cradle here too, you can see where this actually attaches to the J-Style itself. A couple things about this cradle, very nice soft rubber on the top here, definitely not gonna be having any issues there. I like how recessed these bolts are, we know that we're not gonna be rubbing against the those on our kayak. Another great thing about it, you see it's a little bit springy. Why well, that can be nice as we're going down the road, we definitely don't want it you know, impacting up away on our strap. So anything we can do to keep that force from actually lifting up with a little bit of support from those shock kind of absorbers right there, gonna do a good job of not you know, putting any strain on those straps as we have it around our kayak. Taking a look as well, the lever system, very easy to use. All we have to do, pull straight down, it's gonna pop those out. And as you can see, now we go ahead and change our attachment. Maybe we have a crazy tall kayak. We can actually go ahead and set it back like so. However, most of ours are gonna be a little bit more subset like this, as you can see. So it's nice we can actually adjust this just depending on what our kayaks are. Another great thing about these, as you can see, they are just set up on this one side because we are getting that J style. We are gonna be getting a lot of more room on the rest of our rack for any of the other accessories we want. We might be able to fit a cargo box on that side, maybe another kayak carrier as well. So definitely gonna be nice that we're getting that extra room. And of course, to fold it down, as we mentioned, we just have to pull those levers, fold it down into position, give it, playing with it just a bit to find that right slot. And you see, gonna go ahead and condense this down. So let's go ahead and get a quick look at some measurements. And we'll pop back up when I got my tape measure. So some quick little dimensions here. You can see our bolts are gonna be a little bit dependent on how much we actually get them set. However, we are looking about two inches from the roof of our car to here. That's a pretty basic set. Looks like we're gonna be in our collapsed version at 10 inches from the roof here. Go ahead and set it in its normal J style position. Hmm, right about there. And again, this can definitely depend. So we're just gonna try and get our little bit of our maximum here. And take a look, about 20 and a half, just to make sure we're getting below that clearance. Definitely gonna be adding a little bit of you know height to our vehicle. However, we are gonna be able to easily collapse that down. You can bring it all the way flat like so, but keep in mind, you know, then you're starting to get a lot more pressure on your bars. You might see a little bit of scratching there. I definitely recommend just bringing it to here. It's gonna keep itself from actually hitting our aero bars and still be nice and secured in a good position for us as well. 
as you can kind of see. The hardest thing with these little feet thing is actually kind of finding the right setting for them to get them in a nice stable platform. But you see very versatile of how we can actually get that set. Um, extremely lightweight as well. To pull one of these guys off, I'd put them out five pounds each. Extremely easy, definitely not high, like hard at all. That lightweight aluminum coming in nicely. We also know it's gonna hold up to weather. We're not gonna have any corrosion as it is aluminum, not gonna be steel up there. So it's nice that it's gonna be durable in the long run for us as well. Installation is going to be very straightforward. You can see we just have that swinging flange at the bottom here. This is actually going to go around our bar and start securing the rest of our assembly to the top, just cinching it in. So all we got to do, set ourselves on the bar like so, make sure our wing nuts are a little out of the way. Today we've gone ahead and just kind of lined up um, our J style here at the end of our bar like so. And this can just change depending on how you want yours on your vehicle. Um, you know, the closer to the end of it, it can be a little easier to get that kayak up on here. Also gonna be leaving room on our other side. So for today, we're just gonna tighten this down. Make sure we're adding this washer onto the end of our threads and starting our wing nut on the end here and just tightening it down as we go. It can take a little bit of finagling to get this started. You may not, you may have to loosen this guy up just a little bit more on this side as you can see just to kind of get that flange to get itself even. Bind yourself just a little bit more room on the other side like so. And now we can go ahead and start tightening them all the way up. Making sure we're pretty even in our bars too. Go ahead and give it a quick taps over just to make sure we're nice and set. And now we'll tighten down until we're nice and tight. Not gonna have any issues with this bumping off on the road. So we wanna go ahead and also take our included cam buckle strap and just start getting our attachments ran through. Taking this buckle through the top here as we are gonna be wanting to secure our extra end on this side. So we can go ahead and let that guy hang like so, giving just a little bit of a contact here. And then we wanna go ahead and actually run this guy through our J-style underneath our crossbar here. Why that's gonna be important, we wanna make sure we are nice and secured, not only to our J-style, but the crossbar that is underneath as well. I'm going ahead and just walking that extra strap through like so and getting us ready to make our extra attachment when we get our kayak up on here. So you can see we are getting nice and secured here. We're gonna be going around our J-Style and our kayak and bringing the rest of our end into our cam buckle. So let's go ahead and get the kayak up off on here. Now that we have our strap set out of the way, we just wanna take our kayak, make sure we're getting nice and set underneath it. Let's go ahead and go strong hand under and just simply Walking it up and over. And rotating it into position. You see, it's going to find a nice little set medium point there, like so. Now we can hop up and get our strap set. All we want to do is take this cam buckle right through, like so. And start pulling it tight. And as you can see, that's gonna get it nice and secure on our top mast as well. Now you might need a second hand to actually help you get it around. As you can see, we do have a large kayak with us today. The larger this goes, the more issue you might have. I'm trying to make sure that this is set kind of more straight on there as well as you can. Just kind of getting that hand on the back, see how you can kind of get it straight. And then just tightening this down as we go. And that's gonna go ahead and hold itself in. Another really awesome feature about this as well, we can actually go ahead, take our extra strappage. Not a lot of times with these, you are gonna have to have like, you know, for those different models out there at least, you're gonna have to have like, you know, some way to tie this strap in, hold itself, and it kind of gets, you know, kind of loosey-goosey as we're going down the road and we start coming undone, which, you know, definitely something we don't wanna have happen. What's great about this as well, we can go ahead and bundle all these guys together. Go ahead and kind of keep it like this. Taking this little nylon strap in the end here as well as you can see, pretty loose. However, if you treat it like a ponytail, a little hair tie kind of thing, and then we can go ahead and secure that down. You see, it'll be saving us a lot of that room. You can go ahead and give it a triple twirl if we need. 
which can be a little cumbersome. But for today, and for our purposes, you can see it can be very nice of actually keeping that down. If I were me going on a long trip, I'd probably condense this a little bit more down, make it a little bit like nicer. But as you can see, it can be a great job of actually getting that extra strap out of the way. Another great thing with this as well, you see we have this cover for this lever. See how this is actually be rubbing up against our kayak? We definitely don't want that, damaging that. This carbon frame, or no, it's carbon, but those fiberglass kayaks, whatever kind of kayaks we actually have with us today, getting this cover on that backside, A, gonna be doing a really good job, keeping that weather off of that cam buckle, so we're not gonna be having any kind of corrosive elements on there, but also preventing any damage to our kayak as we have it strapped. So let's go ahead and finish the other straps off. Another great thing about the e-trailer kayak carrier kit is it does come with a bow and stern strap. What's awesome about it as well, it does come included with a commonly called dog bone tie down point for your anchors. What's great about this, you know, a lot of times you see those tie down points that you have to like, I don't know, maybe wrap around this frame element here, something on the inside or even something underneath the vehicle. What's great about these is we can go ahead and just kind of toss these in anywhere. So for today, I'm going to get behind this guy right here, so we're not getting in the way of that hydraulics as it goes down. However, as you can see, when that hood, goes, hood comes down, it's gonna be nice and secure in there, getting us a very good contact point, hopefully without doing any kind of damage to our vehicle. Another great thing to point out is how thick that this fabric actually is on the inside. As you can see, it thins out a little bit. What's great about this being so thick, we're not gonna have any issue with this rubbing up against our frame. It's not gonna cut itself as it gets pulled on here. It's gonna be nice and thick and durable. So let's go ahead and show this with the hood closed and start tying it down. Now that we actually have that strap all the way through, we're just going to repeat that process we did with the cam buckle, tighten it down as much as we can, and getting that extra strappage put away. I definitely, if I were going on a longer trip, I might have this in a little bit of a better thing, but for our purposes today, we're going to go ahead and leave it like it is. That's going to give you very good tie downs on either end. Why that's important, we don't want that kayak shifting left and right, starting to loosen itself out. Anything we can do to make it a nice secure ride, it's going to help us in the long run. Well, if you're looking for a way of getting your kayaks on the road with you, I think this is going to be a great option. As we mentioned before, it's got a en great entry set for it. As you can see, you are getting a lot of those features that you have on the higher ends. So I think this is why this one really stands out. You know, it's not the sleekest looking guy. Um, these foam pads can be a little big. You are playing with just a little bit of aluminum on top. However, you know it's going to hold up well for you in that weather. That aluminum's not going to corrode quite as fast as you would some of the steel. I actually like the rubber mounts in the middle as well. Just that little bit of shock absorbing can kind of help keep those straps from popping off. And again, I think the strap kit is really what sells it for me. You're getting those bow and stern tie downs and those dog bones included, all for the low cost of what this entire kit comes with. Well, I think that about does it for the look at the e-trailer kayak carrier J-Style on our 2020 Chevy Traverse. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.